Okay, all right, guys. Welcome back to What Now Internet. So let me just explain something. I have a mic right here, mic right here, and I have an earphone right here. I got this at Don. I mean, it has this for me to talk to. It's a mic, but I got this at Don Quixote for ten dollar, and the the mic is not too good compared to the one this one. So even though I have a mic on my earphone, I'm gonna use this one because this one is way better to get audio from. The, com the computer anyways so today's um topic will be right here police police arrest three protesters cite another five at the reopen hawaii in the rally today in front of the capital so let me show you guys this right here okay so check this out the one we have right here this is this was going on in the capital today today's may 1st and see this guy right here he got arrested by the police, but watch this. Hopefully it's not too loud. Okay. This was all over my feed on my Facebook and my Instagram. And this guy right here, he went live on Facebook, the one I'm showing you guys. And no, okay, now now I don't mind you guys doing like, you guys right, you guys constitutional right to protest free of speech, right? And to be a peaceful protester. But this guy right here, when he went live on Facebook, he was not a peaceful protester. That's why he got arrested. And we, I'm not really sure what the whole story of what he was saying because, you know, I, I'm not really watching the whole thing. I was at work. But this guy's provoking the police. He's not being a peaceful protester. And this guy right here, Jack, I don't know what's his problem because he's protesting to end the COVID-19 lockdown. But he has a mask on what's the mask for take your mask off if you're so confident that the virus is not that contagious look at this snapping infuriates me that our political leaders are not doing the same research that we as citizens are capable of we all have access to the internet and the research look at that more than more than 100 people are in this protest see that they arrested that guy. Watch, watch. I'm going to show you guys how he was not a peaceful protester. So this is, oh, this is some nice quality that's going on around here in Star Advertisement. Okay, so that's going on right there. See his Facebook Live? And that's the one we were watching on the Facebook group. Look at that. He's yelling at the police. Getting in their face. A lot of people. Look at the police. They're just doing their job. Following the rules that the government told them. The state told them. Look, see see him in the blue right there? Right here? Look at that. He's snapping at them. The lady over here holding him back. You see? You come here to be a peaceful protester. You know, you're making your point. But if you make your point in a violent way, it does the opposite. It provokes people. It gets people all routed up. You gotta do it in a way that's like, hey, we noticed the problem and this is what's happening. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. It's already May 1st. The government eager already lifting the ban because we are now flattened in the curb of fighting the coronavirus. So I don't know why they're protesting now when it's actually being, you know, like slowly releasing it. Slowly, like the the uplift of the band like don't be at the park don't be anywhere else now the park is open people can exercise it's as the months go um as the days go by the the band for like not social gathering not being outside and you know not, not having more than 10 people gather it's like lifting up so this protest makes no sense why would you make a, um, a protest like it's i know the economy is down because hawaii runs on tourists but why like, what's the point of this when everything is slowly going to come back up? Everything slowly is going to open up. There's no point of having this crazy madness. Just copying everything what's happening in Florida, Michigan, North Carolina, I think, Colorado, North Carolina. Sorry about that, the mispronunciation. And all the other states, like, it's slowly lifting. We don't need to be making crazy protests like this. This is for no reason. Look at this. We understand. 
that. Um, Registered that nurse. It is, it is tough when you haven't got any money in that. But we think that the, the state and the city have been handling it correctly and opening slowly. If we open up wide open, we've got the example of what happened in 1918, where they quarantined. See, look at that. Safety first, no premature opening. This is madness. Look, if we open, look, Hawaii is a tourist economy. We might be flatlined, but the other states and other countries are not. So if they come to Hawaii for, you know, doing their tourist, we can get reinfected again. It can spread out. And then, boom, what happened? We went locked down again for another two months. And I know it's hard for people who doesn't have a job or non-essential worker, our government and state is failing to do the unemployment that makes sense they're not getting their money Yui, my wife just recently got her unemployment which is crazy so that and that the she never worked for a long time already and a couple of my friends too they didn't get their unemployment till today so i understand that part but man the things that is going on with this world is just absolute madness look at that all right guys thank you so much for this quick podcast that I'm showing you guys and hopefully I can get better set up and get everything going on with this I'm going to try my best to do more podcasts and hopefully not too late at night because this is the only time when my baby's sleeping that I actually can do things because during the day it's no hope